Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen from OneNote Bullet Journal. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert a PDF document onto a page in OneNote. So before I show you how to do that, let's talk about why you might want to do that. Well, this is a great thing to be able to do for recurring things such as calendars, checklists, or journal layouts. It lets you have whatever layout you want without recreating it. Second, you can create PDFs from many sources such as Word, Excel, screenshots, online programs, etc. You can also insert a PDF of a document and not have to carry around the actual paper. So you could use this for things like vacation documents, live event schedules, or school schedules. And finally, once you insert your PDF, you can write and draw on it, which is really useful and fun. So let me show you a couple of examples of how I use this. So this is my weekly time tracker, and this is how I keep track of how I spend my time during the work week, Monday to Friday. You can see that each day, Monday through Friday, has two columns, a planned and an actual, and then the hours go down the margins of the page. So I lay my day out based on how I think it's going to go, and then I record how I actually spent my time. And it helps me figure out what things are taking longer than I expect them to, and where I'm spending my time, and if I'm not getting to the things I want to, why not? So this is um, just a blank that I use, um, created with a PDF document, and I save it in OneNote, and then I can just reuse it week after week. And this is what it looks like partially filled in. So I do use a pen-enabled tablet. I use a Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen, so I actually write this in my own handwriting using the pen on my tablet just like I would a pen on paper. So a second example of this is my October 2016 calendar all filled out. So this basic white calendar you see was a calendar I created. I believe I used Excel to do this. And then I added some of these decorative elements like the leaves and the little tree sticker down here, digital sticker. And then as the month goes on, each day I write something good that happened to me that day. And I like to do this for two things. One is at the end of the month I have this really nice looking calendar filled with all kinds of good things that happened to me that month. And second, it helps keep me focused on good things that are happening and do happen in my life. So I really enjoy this. And this is again an example of writing on a PDF document that I inserted into OneNote. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you have to do is go to the section of your notebook where you want the new page to appear. And I am already there. I'm in my demo notebook, and this section is called Insert PDF. So I'm going to go over here to the right where it lists all my pages, and I'm going to click on the very top thing which says Add a Page. And I now have an untitled blank page. Now personally, I like my most current work to be at the top of this column, so I'm going to select this and drag it up to the top and then I'm going to give it a proper title. Okay, so now my page is all ready for the calendar. I'm going to go to the Insert menu, click Insert File Printout. Now I'm going to select the file that I want, the PDF that I want. And there it is. Now, when you do this file insert printout, it does give you the file name and a copy of the file on your page. If You can keep that if you want it. I don't need it for any reason, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. And then select my calendar and move it up so it's nice and high on the page. Okay, now if you just wanted this for reference or to carry around with you, you could leave it as is. But if you do want to write and draw on it, I'm going to encourage you to take one additional step, which is to set this as the background. That'll tell OneNote that you want to treat this as a piece of paper, and as you're writing, drawing, selecting, dragging, dropping, things like that, it won't, the, the piece of paper itself won't interact with your cursor. So I'm going to right-click this. And at the very bottom, third from the bottom, it says Set Picture as Background. So I'm going to click that. Now I am all set to write and draw on it. So um, as I mentioned, I do use a tablet, and I'm going to go off camera for a minute, and I'm going to do some handwriting on this page on my tablet. And depending on how fast we can get a sync, we should see this, my handwriting, show up fairly quickly.
Now in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to show up, I am going to show you how to type. So you can just select anywhere and you can type just like you would on any type of document. Now I do like to use handwriting, um, but one of the advantages of typing is that it's really easy to move your whatever you write around. Oh, th okay, that's what I just wrote on my tablet. I'll get to that in a minute. So when you type, you get this nice little text box around it. So if I have to move this appointment, I can just move it here. And once I click away, it's moved and the text box disappears. So it's just super easy to move around like that. And I do like that feature. So sometimes when I'm not super concerned about exp the appearance or I don't want the experience of handwriting, I might actually type on this. Um, so now you can, another option is to draw with your mouse. So I'm going to click up here to the draw menu. I'm going to select this nice green pen here. And so I don't forget this important day, I'm going to draw a circle around it. So that I just drew with my mouse. And you can see it definitely worked. I have a circle, but it's kind of um, scratchy and not very smooth and not very attractive. Uh, so I don't usually do that. I just have a hard time doing that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click undo. I'm going to go back to my draw menu and I'm going to use this shapes option here. You have some standard geometrical shapes you can do. And I'm going to click the oval, which is also kind of like could be made into a circle, and put that right here. And I want it a little bit, I'm going to, you know, use these handles to drag it so it's slightly larger than the day, so it really stands out. Okay. So uh, I'm going to click away so you can see how that looks. So it looks pretty good. Um, one thing, though, if I wanted this to really stand out, I could change this pen and make it even thicker. So I am going to do that. Now I have a nice thick line around it that I won't forget. And just to, I could even, using this pen properties, I could even change the color. So that's kind of really fun. Um, so this last thing that popped up while we were talking that says vacation, that's actually my handwriting. I did that on my tablet uh, with my S Pen, and then I clicked sync. So the sync happened pretty quickly, um, and it'll sync across all my devices that way. So there you have it. That's how to insert a PDF into OneNote, why you might want to do it, and a demo of how you can write or draw on your PDF once it's inserted. Now, if you have any questions or comments on this, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel using the subscribe button if you want more videos like this. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.